The skilled trades is for everyone. I agree that stereotypically we would say, or in the past, it's a male dominated career, but being a technician in the field is a phenomenal opportunity for both men and women. My advice to any woman who wants to get into this, don't be scared. When I got into this industry, I would say probably about three to five percent of our students were female. I looked at it today at the Denver campus, 11 percent of our students are female. You know, there's creative things with collision. It's not just wrenching on cars. Welcome to the official podcast of Lincoln Tech. On this episode, we'll talk to the women who encourage other women that are currently working in the trade industry and how the trades aren't just for men anymore. Lincoln Tech's mission is to provide superior education and training to our students for in-demand careers in a supportive, accessible learning environment, transforming students' lives and adding value to their communities. Now, let's chat with the women who make the trades program great. Jen Cash, I'm the campus president at Lincoln Tech in Denver, Colorado. Uh, We are a skilled trades college, and we train technicians in auto, diesel, HVAC, collision, electrical, and welding. These days, it's not uncommon to think about women entering skilled trade professions, but it wasn't always that way. Where would you say the trend got started? Women got into the trades, I believe, during World War II. When soldiers had to go off to war, women went into the factories to build airplanes and ships and everything. And actually, that's how Lincoln Tech was founded. When uh, soldiers were coming back, we wanted to make sure that they were trained um, and had a skill that they can go into work and get back into society coming from the the war times. So, but with that, over the years, we saw the decline in women being in skilled trades after that when the men came back. But recently, it is still definitely a male-dominated industry, and our focus with the skilled trades gap is women, we're an untapped resource to be able to make sure those skilled trades continue to move on and that gap closes. We talk about it all the time and with the high school students, with the adult students, that we need people not just going the traditional university route. We need students to be able to go into those skilled trades since there is such a need in those industries. What would you say to the women out there about the program? I would just say skilled trades is an amazing opportunity for anybody, even though it's a male dominated field, that women can be very successful in it. It's all about getting that education and Lincoln Tech does provide an amazing education for skilled trades and has that support system. We work with a lot of industry employers that want to grow their female population and their female staff. And we're here to help that. We're excited to help with it. And it is a great industry to get into being both with the education being only about a year and then working with our career services department to obtain those employment opportunities. My name is Allison Newman. I'm the program manager for workforce development for Johnson Controls. uh, And I support uh, workforce development strategies for all of North America. What makes your company's relationship with Lincoln Tech so valuable? I think exploring a career, you know, being a technician, being in the skilled trades is very, very attractive to women. When you compare costs of a technical degree versus a four year degree, it's astronomically cheaper. You are able to enter the workforce faster. Yes, you may still incur some debt, right, to to pay for it, but you are going to be earning dollars much faster than a student that's having to pay back student loans. And it's a field in which the, yes, there is the hands-on piece, but more and more women, we are getting them into STEM, getting them attracted to robotics competitions and STEM-based curriculum in the middle schools and high schools so that the next path doesn't necessarily have to be an engineer in a four-year school. How about I get an electronics certificate? How about I get an HVAC certificate? Start getting that hands-on experience. Start making some money. We have technicians that, you know, within eight to 10 years, you know, with overtime, they're making six figures. So it's no debt and they're making six figures. And what's incredible is once you are in, we've had women technicians that you enter as a technician, you do that very well, obviously, Performance in your current job will predict your future job. So you do really well in your current job in hitting your deliverables and servicing your customers and being innovative. Then there's opportunities for you to grow. You can continue to grow in the technical track. Someone might say, man, I love this piece. It has to be 
they are very innovative and in solving problems. And so many of our women have saw that as an opportunity to say, I'd love to get into sales, right? I know the hands-on piece and I see that there's an opportunity that I could do both. I can do the technical piece as well as sales. So that, you know, there's a career path that they can go into sales. Then once you're with an employer, guess what? Take advantage of tuition reimbursement. If at some point in time you say, wow, now I would love to get maybe a business degree and open up my own business, then why don't you utilize tuition reimbursement offered by that employer to continue to, to grow in your career? So it really has so many advantages. I think it's a great way, like I said, to, to start your career, learn what you like, and then drive your career in the direction that, that you find interest. But a skilled trades gets you there much, much faster than only feeling that your track is to go, you know, a four-year degree. Do women feel that they have what it takes for the trades? I want to change the mindset of women to say, you have what it takes. You have what it takes to be a technician. This is an awesome way to start your career in the technical field. You can continue on the technical track. You can move into management. You can move into sales. There's so many ways in which you can kind of continue to accelerate your career, but really exploring a technical field. If any woman is out there vacillating, wondering, gosh, should I do this? Please, please reach out to local employers, Johnson Controls, to see if you can shadow and get a flavor of what it really is because there's so many great opportunities and where our technicians are headed, I think women play a very, very instrumental part in making that happen because of the customer service piece, the problem solving piece is so very, very important along with the technical aspects. And I just think women are right to take this on and to, to challenge themselves to say, rather than not me, to say, why not me and give it a try. My name is Morgan Woodkey. I am 24 years old. I graduated from Lincoln Tech in 2021 and I'm currently the lead tech at Penske Truck Leasing in Hartford, Connecticut. What does your job entail? I do mostly the advanced diagnostics there. I am also the district specialist for um, international trucks. So any of the internationals, um, even surrounding states who have issues diagnosing those trucks, they get sent to me. They'll tow them into my location. So lots of electrical diagnostics, um, emissions issues, and um, sometimes even catastrophic failures. What cemented your decision to go and enroll at Lincoln Tech in the beginning? So my older brother, Tyler, actually graduated from Lincoln Tech 10 or 11 years ago. And he loved it and he became a super successful mechanic. So that kind of pointed me in the right direction. I was like, well, if it works for him, I'm sure it'll work for me. And I went there to tour the school and the staff was so friendly and welcoming. And the second time I went back to the school, they actually had remembered me from the first time. So it's definitely a, a very personal feel you get there. Morgan, what has your experience been thus far? My experience with it has definitely been interesting. I always felt like I needed to prove myself more so than any any man would have to. I feel like eyes are on me more, more than a man in the industry, so I feel more pressured for sure. I feel like I have to work twice as hard to get noticed in a positive way. And I feel like if I were to make a mistake, then you know, everyone's gonna know about it. My advice to any woman who wants to get into this, don't be scared. In my opinion, I think women tend to be more detail oriented, which is a huge factor in mechanics. And as long as you're willing to prove yourself and you find a great employer who gives you the opportunity, take it and run with it. So Jen, we have to ask that important question here. What's the money like for those in the trades? That's a great question. You know, it's so different depending on where you're at. We can't guarantee what people can make out there or anything like that. So it's safe to say that this is not a minimum wage job. It is not a minimum wage career. And there's many opportunities once you get into the industry to move and promote yourself. We focus on getting students prepared for entry-level positions within these industries. And where they go from there is the exciting part. We have many graduates and alum that come back and speak about their opportunities and what they've done, whether it's opening up their own shop or getting into management or running a team. Allison, any final thoughts on the trades program at Lincoln Tech? If women only think that being a technician is, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be up on a roof and carrying a lot of weight and getting greasy and all that, people won't want to go into it, right? I mean, 
when you think of it differently and having, you know, that ability using those different skills. And I'm really happy to say with our Lincoln Tech partnership, we've had it for five years now. Uh, we've hired many women, obviously still higher propensity of men than women. But what I love about Lincoln Tech is they started by serving our veterans coming out of World War II is how Lincoln Tech started. So there's many of the women that are Lincoln Tech students that are also veterans that we have then hired into the organization. All of our Lincoln Tech hires we're incredibly proud of, but we are hiring women out of Lincoln Tech and they're absolutely phenomenal. We started an additional program called the JCI Academy just in September of 22, where it's a an additional six week boot camp post graduation where we hire them specifically to be security installers or fire service techs. And we've hired six women into that program already, and they are doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job. So we're really excited about more women technicians in Johns Controls, but definitely through our Lincoln Tech partnership is, is making that happen. Morgan, can you think of any advice for the women thinking about this program? One thing about it is it's what you make it. You will only go as far as you push yourself. You know, you could start in a job and only do oil changes forever, which is fine, but you're not going to be at the same pay scale as someone who wants to learn how to, you know, do clutch jobs or rebuild engines or do diagnostics. So don't be afraid to start and don't be afraid to move up. Anytime your employer gives you a new opportunity, even if it's a job that you haven't done before, just take it and do it. You know, take your time, go slow, do it correct, prove that you can do more than they think you can, because that's how you move up in this industry for sure. And one last question. Did Lincoln Tech help you with your job search? Oh, Lincoln Tech was the reason I got started. Um, it was completely, completely through them. I got a job. I was only going to school for three months when I got it, my first job through them. So I got an introductory level job at Firestone through them, which was an awesome starter position. You know, I got my feet wet. I learned a little bit. And then when I was ready to move up, they helped me get a job at an international truck dealership. And then I had stayed there for a few years until I received a better opportunity elsewhere. But Lincoln Tech, they'll help you write your resume. They'll review it, make sure it sounds good. They'll even set up interviews for you. Like they do all the the dirty work for you. And, you know, as long as you're a good student there and you put your best efforts in, I can guarantee you'll get a job through them. Thanks for listening. For more information about women in trades and how to enroll, schedule a visit or talk to career services, visit lincolntech.edu.